In this video, we're going to start a brand new series to create this workload monitoring and wellness dashboard. Some of the features of this dashboard are the ability to select any athlete you want and have their data automatically update, as well as a side filter menu where you can select the dates that you want to show on your readiness charts, as well as any of the metrics or any of the information that you want to show on your player cards. Then, if you want to, you can print this card and hand it to a coach or athletes or any other stakeholders. This is going to be a really powerful tool if you are monitoring any sort of workload or wellness measurements, so let's get after it. Okay, so we're back, and before we get started into this dashboard project, the first thing I'm just going to ask is that if you have been following along with any of my videos and finding any value in them, if you could please like and subscribe and share. That really helps this channel grow and allows me to dedicate more time to creating these videos for everyone to watch and hopefully um, create some tools that will help you in your coaching practice. So without further ado, let's get going on this project here. So the first thing we want to do um, when we're making a new dashboard is we have to set up some of the back end so that when we're making the actual visualizations, um, that part's going to be really easy. So what I like to do is set up my athlete tab first. So I'm going to create a tab. I'm just gonna use this sheet one, right click, rename it. I'm gonna call it athlete info. And this is just the spot where I am going to store all of my athlete data. So what I like to do is I'm going to um, create some different headers here, one called athlete name the next called jersey number, um, the next will be date of birth, then we will have age, then we will have sport, then we will have position, um, status, um, image, cell image, and I'll explain the difference in those in a second, and then inactive. So these are the headers that I like to use when I'm creating an athlete sort of um, info tab. And I'm just going to resize these. So for athlete name, I'm going to right click, resize, let's just make it about 250. And that just gives me enough space to put everyone's um, first and last name. And then the rest of these, we can just um, click resize. I'm going to make them about 120. And then that just gives them a little bit of space. And when I'm making headers, um, I just like to make the whole thing black and then make um, the text white. Maybe I'll bold it and I'm just going to center it. Now there's two cells here that I'm just going to color differently. Those being age and cell image um, because they're going to have basically um, a formula in them. So I just usually color those headers a little bit differently to kind of signify that they have um, a formula, sorry, I just messed that up. So they should look like that. And then the inactive, I'll just make sort of a green color because that's gonna be a different type of cell as well. Now I'm gonna make room for about 20 or so athletes. So I'm just gonna highlight this all the way down to 21. And under format, there's an option for alternating colors. I'll just select there. And then on the right-hand side, turn off the header and hit done. So that just gives me this sort of uh, alternating colors look. So I have some of my data already put together. So I'm just going to copy some of that in now. So I just have five athletes here and I'm just going to paste their data in. And the next thing that I want to do is actually create um, a few different things. So I'm going to create a, another tab called control panel, um, rename this control panel. And under control panel, I'm just going to copy one of these for the headers. I'll right click, um, paste the column width, and then paste that in. I want a few different cells in here that are going to allow me to do some things. The first thing I want is my team logo. Then the next thing I want is, there's three things, athlete name, um, sports, and position. And these are going to be basically where I store all of my data so that when I'm in my dashboard, all my drop-down menus will refer back to this. So for the purpose of this video, let's do volleyball. And then I'll just put in some of my positions. So I'll put libero. Um, I'll put setter. 
uh, maybe outside hitter. Um, left side, right side, and maybe middle. So I'll put my positions in there. For athlete names, we're going to do a filter. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then the next thing we want to do is our team logo. So I'm going to click on the top box here and go to insert. And I'll go to image, um, image in cell. And I have a team logo stored in my photos. So I'm just going to select that and insert that right in there. It should go in and then I'll just center it. So that's kind of um, the setup that we want. Maybe I'll just center all of this text so it looks a little bit better. So back to my athlete info tab, we have these dates of birth. And if you notice, they paste it in not as a date of birth. So all I'll do is highlight this whole column, go to format number. And I like my format as year, 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 dash month, month, dash day, day. So I will turn it to that. Then the next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to perform a calculation to get the athlete's current date of birth. So what that formula looks like is um, equals days 360 and what this does is gives me the number of days between two dates so I'm going to open this up and the start date is going to be this date of birth and then the end date is going to be today so I'll just put today double brackets um, and when I close this off you can see that it says there is 7,643 days now in order to turn that into an age if I divide that number by 365.25, so that accounts basically for the leap year, because there's 365 days in a year, some years there's 366. So that basically accounts for the leap year and hit enter. Now that's gonna give me my age, okay? So I could probably drag that formula down, but you can see it's going to give me this weird number here. So I'm going to do a quick little if formula here to basically look to see if there's anything in this date of birth cell. And if there is, then I just want to return basically a blank. So in front of my days 360, what I'll do is type if, open that up, and we'll look at this cell here. If date of birth does not equal blank, then we want to perform this calculation. Otherwise, comma, we want to return a blank and then I'll close that off and it doesn't look like it changed much but if I drag it down you can see now I'm only left with my ages. Now in terms of sport what I can do is just create a drop down menu here for all of those sports that I put on my control panel tab. So I'll go to here, data, data validation. I'm going to select a list from range, go to my control panel, I'll select the sport column and I want to go from C2 all the way down. So basically I want to start at C2 and then follow it all the way down. That allows me to add more sports as I want. So now I just have this option to select volleyball. So I'm going to put that in for each of my athletes. I'm going to do the same thing for position, data, um, data validation, and control panel. And I'm going to go D2 all the way down. Same thing, save. And actually, let's make one for status as well. And we'll just say, um, good, limited, out, as our three statuses. So I'll do the same thing. So we'll make a couple of liberos, maybe a setter, two outside hitters. There we go, so that's our team. And then we'll do the same thing for status. So we'll go data, data validation, we'll create that list and this allows everything to be basically the same. And what we'll do is we'll just make a couple athletes good, uh, maybe two limited and then one out. I'm just going to center all this so that it looks a little bit better. And then for image, we're going to put some images in the cells here. So the same way that we did for that team logo I'll go to insert, um, image, image in cell. I have some in my photos. So I'm just going to pick some of these athletes. Bear with me, I'm just gonna do it fast. Image, image in cell, photos. Let's pick that athlete, insert. We'll put one down, insert, image, image in cell, photos. 
let's pick that athlete, insert, and we'll do one more here. Insert image, image in cell, photos, and maybe we want, I don't know, that athlete there, and hit insert. So you can see that I did four of the five athletes. Now, what might happen is you might run into a situation where you don't have an image for an athlete. In that case, what I like to do is just display the team logo. So we're going to write a formula for that. Basically, what it's going to look like is equals if this cell here does not equal blank. And if it doesn't, then I want you to return this cell here. Otherwise, I want you to return, sorry, otherwise I want you to return the team logo and I'll close this off and right now what you'll see is if I drag this down, oh, it should, oh, I got to lock in the team logo cell, one sec. So I'm going to just put F4 there to lock it in. So it puts dollar signs around and as I drag it down, you can see now it returns the team logo. Now the problem with that is, is we can run into a situation where now it's going to return the team logo for everyone regardless of whether they have an image or not. Okay, so what I now have to do is wrap this in another if formula, say if the name column does not equal um, blank, then I want to perform this calculation. Otherwise, let's leave the whole thing blank and then I'll close this off. So basically what it's doing is looking if we've entered um, an athlete's name. If we did, then it's going to look if they have a photo. If they don't, it'll, ret it'll or sorry, if they do, it'll return their photo. If they don't, it'll return the team logo. If there's no athlete entered, then it will be blank. So if I drag that down, you can see now we don't have anything. But if we were to enter another athlete, you can see now they would automatically get the team logo as their photo. Okay, so that's how that formula works. It's just two if formulas put inside of each other. Now the last thing we want to do is I'm just going to add some checkboxes here for basically um, I just go insert checkbox and I want to be able to click this on if the athlete is inactive and that way we um, basically exclude them from some of the calculations or other things, or maybe the list that we select athletes from. So how we can do this is I'm going to highlight this whole column and I'm going to go to format, conditional formatting. And basically what I want to do is go A2 to J25. Okay, so basically it's going to look through this whole um, sheet and I want to do a custom formula and the formula that we want is just equal to dollar sign J2 because when we click this box it gives us a value of true so basically we're just saying if J2 is um, true and because we've put a dollar sign in front of the J it knows that I want to just refer to this column okay so in this case for this, form, for this row, it's going to refer to J2, then J3, J4, etc. And if that's the case, let's just give it a light red value and I'll hit done. So now, what we can do is just turn athletes inactive or not based on selecting this checkbox here. Okay. And then the last thing that we're going to do today is if I go to my control panel for my athlete names, I want to just pull out... Um, the athlete names if they are not inactive. So I'll type equals filter, open this up, and I want to filter out all of these athlete names, so A2 all the way to A, comma, and I want to do it when this tab here, or this um, column here, does not equal true. And I'll close this off and hit enter, and you can see we have Sydney, Jessica, Beverly, and Christine. But if I unclick Catherine and make her um, active again, you can see she pops up in our athlete names. Now the last thing that I like to do for this one here is just wrap this in unique. Just in case we get the same athlete in there twice. 
okay? So if we were updating our data that way, so now let's say these three athletes are inactive, then they're going to be out of all of our lists where we select athletes from, and it's just going to make a lot of things easier, okay? So that's going to do it for today. In the next video, what we will do is set up all of our data and make sure that that's all um, clean in the way that we need it. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll start to build out our actual dashboard. So I hope this video helps you out. If it does, please stay tuned for part two, three, four, um, and as many videos as it takes to get the whole thing completed. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.